we are going to be talking about books that I will never be reading. But honestly, my mind could be changed. I like to think that I have an open mind. And if some of you guys like really love these books and y'all talk it up in the comments, maybe I will be more inclined to read them. But these are just like super hyped up book talk books. And it's not no hate to these books or anything. It's just I haven't felt drawn to them. It doesn't feel like something that I would like. And everybody has different tastes. You might love these books and I might not. I do have a list. I came prepared and I will be explaining a little bit why I don't see myself reading these books. So first we have Wildfire, which is the second book in the Icebreaker series. I read Icebreaker. It was cute. I can see why people like it. It just wasn't for me. And I just really didn't have any desire to read Wildfire. Next, we have any book by Penelope Douglas. And I know I'm going to get hate for that one because people really love her. I just read Credence and it was not for me. I just don't really know if I'm like a dark romance girly. Doesn't mean I won't ever be. It's just not the genre that I am into currently. We also have The Love Hypothesis. And I just feel like... That's like more towards a younger genre and like I've outgrown that kind of books. I say that, but I do read some young adult romances, but I don't know. Maybe it's the cover. Maybe it's the cartoons on the cover. I don't know. Then we have The Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And there's no really big reason that I don't want to pick this up. I just, again, don't have the desire to. There's other thrillers that I would rather read. Next is The Cruel Prince and... This, I feel like this used to be more hyped up back in the day, but everybody says like the first two books are eh, and then the last book's really good. And I just don't want to have to like read through two books to get to the good part. So, and my friend also read The Cruel Prince and she didn't really like it. And we kind of have similar tastes. So that is why The Cruel Prince is not on my TBR. Then we have The Do-Over, which this idea is super cute. The book cover is super cute. But just reading the same thing over and over again can get a little bit too repetitive. And that's what I've heard in like the book reviews on this one. Then we have The Spanish Love Deception. And the reason I will not be reading this book is because everybody shits on this book. And I'm so sorry. But that just makes me not want to read it. I, I do know there's a couple of people who really love it because they had to for it to get that hyped up. But I don't know. All the reviews that I've seen from the people that I really like to watch on booktube don't aren't really a fan of it so then we have haunting and hunting adeline i don't ever see myself picking up those books my friend also picked up those books and she didn't finish it which is a sign for me to not go buy it because if it's if she didn't finish it it must not be that good and she's telling me some of the stuff in it and y'all crazy y'all know spicy for real um I don't know, just not for me. Doesn't mean it couldn't be. But for this moment in time, I don't know if I have the desire to read that. No judgment though. If that's your thing, that's your thing, girl. And I respect it, but I know my thing. Okay, then last but not least, we have It Starts With Us. And do I even have to say anything? No hate to Coho. Um, her books were easy to read, it's just, I read It Ends With Us. It was good and cute, but no desire to read It Starts With Us. And yeah, just no desire there. The first one was good. The first one was good. I don't need to read the second. But yeah, that's it, guys. If you think I should read some of these, then let me know. Because maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Goodbye. Love you.